What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to another part two of DC TV Talk episode 24. I think it's episode 24. Should be. I don't know. If it's not, I blew it. <laughs> anyway, Gotham returns. And uh, I'm going to give you a rundown of everything that pretty much happened. The NBG going to go for now. I might elaborate on certain stuff. I might not. Because I just realized something. Gotham is a huge ass ensemble and with a lot of people. And you didn't even get to see everybody. You're going to run it down from different characters. Jim Gordon, he's ignoring Sophia. First of all, Jim Gordon is much better. Than, I guess Jim Gordon is a better person than I am. Because you know what I'll be doing right now? I'll be drinking champagne off Sophia's stomach right now. I her belly button. And I don't even drink. All right? That's exa- that's how far it would probably go. That Man, Jim crazy. You hear me? Also, uh, he's looking for Harvey since, since Harvey left. You know what I'm saying? Jim probably wanted to. He's he still wanted. He pretty hurt, probably pretty hurt about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Alfred's fired. Alfred's living like dying in the boroughs. Is it called the boroughs? I don't think it's called a burrow. Then again, I do think it might be called a burrow. I can't, I can't remember. He's living down in, in that area. He meets a chick. She likes him. She's digging him or whatever. She and her boyfriend has been beating her. He ends up going out with her. They get walking. They talk, and her boyfriend comes up. And Alfred whoops his ass because he finds because he knows that he's been beating on her. She he ends up beating the shit out of her, killing her, using uh, Alfred's ring and framing her. Framing him as though he was the one that killed him. It, it was kind of sad because I'm thinking like uh, Alfred was going to actually have something that didn't last at all. Uh, that that was over pretty fast. Uh, but no, it, either way, Alfred ended up uh, going back and finding him, beating the shit out of him, getting him confessed, and Harvey helped him. You know what I'm saying? We found, found out Harvey's been working in uh, uh, a bar. Jim goes to Barbara to find out information about the dog, the dog, which is uh, Lee, who somebody tried to assassinate her with a toy. Found out the person tried to assassinate her was the Riddler, but Ed is like really is like his uh, alter ego. You know, it, I think it was like season two or season three when he first had battling with like Ed Nigma and the Riddler, and now or it was season one. I don't, I can't quite remember, but the way it go that happening again and so he, he kind of like loses like time it kind of like rain on a, a supergirl but he kind of loses time he doesn't remember and he doesn't even know that he was the person who hired him just so having jim going to be the key of the person who was making like the little toys and shit and he had the, the little the little machine gun and the uh uh nutcracker that was dope that was a, that was a good ass idea i fuck with that uh, also, you, who else you have? You have uh, Solomon Grundy, who is Butch, who realized that he's Butch again. So is he no longer Solomon Grundy? He realized who he is, and he goes back and try to give a tie with him, but he calls her Debbie. Either way it goes, she, she, I guess she doesn't want him because he doesn't completely remember her memory. Another thing, doesn't that nigga breath smell like Swamp Duke? You can't tell me that nigga breath don't smell like Swamp Duke. How does she still want him? She is fine as hell. This nigga breath smell like Swamp Duke, and she still wants him. That shit is fucking crazy to me. Oh, but anyway, other than that, we have to go to another thing that we got going. We didn't see Penguin in this episode. We didn't see Jerome. But we did see the new Poison Ivy. We, know, so we didn't know they recast Poison Ivy again for the third time. <laughs> and, 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 and here's something that fucked me up. Poison Ivy wakes up and she sees like, the, 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 the ad on TV that Barbara, uh, Tabitha, and uh, Selena's on. She like, I know them, but I could have swore I didn't like them. She just so also she just so happens to, a guy talks to her she cuts him and he's poisoned so we actually she has actually has the poison ivy power the poison ivy power oh, it's super thick God God don't mind I might need to help her carry them groceries uh my bad anyway <laughs> anyway she got the uh, poison she actually had the poison ivy power but one thing that's kind of like bothered me about every iteration of Ivan. Mean, I don't know if they're going to change it with this one, is that her love for plants. They haven't just completely went into her Poison Ivy's love for plants because that's pretty much one of her biggest things is that she, she loves plants. And like she, she's, she took, Ivy's like a scientist, but we haven't gotten into none of that yet because I guess because they started out, first of all, Ivy was like a 
12 year old, then she became like 18 year old, and now she's probably 26. I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's one of the things. Also, Ivy needs like sunlight, so they haven't went into like none of those different things about Ivy. I don't know if they even gonna do it. You know, they, they might just, you know what I'm saying, keep it. The, the, the woman, don't get me wrong, the woman who plays Ivy now is that gorgeous. Gorgeous, super fine. Take that poison. We'll take the poison. We'll risk it all. You know, use it. You know how I'm Batman? <laughs> What's what it Batman and Robin when they had like rubber lips. No rubber. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, we have that. So she ends up going to the club. She sees Tab the Tab to tells her to get out. She walks by Selena and says something to Selena. Somebody please tell me how the fuck this Selena know that was Ivy. I call bullshit. Call bullshit. I'm sorry. Uh, she ends up following her. I even know she was following. She poisoned Selena. <laughs> like, yo, why the fuck did she poison Selena? <laughs> she, I'm like, damn. I, I tweeted that. And I'm like, damn. I almost killed Selena in less than five minutes. <laughs> it was super cool. Less than about two minutes, really. And she gave her the antidote. And she's like, hey, you used to always protect me. Now I'm finna protect you. We gonna, mean, you're going to run together. Uh, oh, also in the club. Selena saw Bruce. Bruce with the bottles and the bitches. Bruce got the bottles and the bitches. No disrespect to the actresses or anything, but it's just, it's just, <clears throat> just turn. Bruce got the bottles and the bitches. He lit. He lit. He over there telling Selena, I ain't I'm doing my thing, baby. Bruce on like, I he, when is he going? Ooh, I've seen a preview for next episode. That bitch gonna be super, super dope. Super, super dope. We see a little kiss from Batman. Oh, nigga. And apparently, they gonna capture Selena and Ivy gonna capture him and show him like, his future or something like that. And then we get Jerome back, get Penguin back. It's just so many different characters in Gotham. <clears throat> you follow, think about it. You follow Jerome, Penguin, Riddler, Lee, Barbara, Tabitha, Butch, Harvey, Jim, Bruce, Alfred. That's 12 characters you follow. On. And like, there's no telling. That it, and it seems like you, it's, it's like almost every episode you have to like cover something about each and every single one of them. So that's that's the whole thing. I, I think they need to not, not, not condense it, but like f get the focus back on more on like Jim Gordon and, and have him interacting with those other people. So we won't have to completely focus on everybody else. Just like ba like Batman has a as a, a big rose gallery, and that's pretty much what this is. But you have to have the central focus on Jim, and have him like dealing with them because I don't need to know with with all everybody else's business. I just need to know pretty much Jim going to have everybody else doing their little thing around him. So that's just my. It's not, it's not a gripe. It's just you know what I'm saying, just a thought. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy Gotham's back. It's one of my favorite shows. I love all DC shows. I love all these comic book fucking shows, man. I'm not, I no complaints, really. Uh, but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this. The the, the return of Gotham, I guess that's why I'm calling it. And how excited are you guys for next episode? Because I think that bitch is going to be spectacular. <laughs> but, anyway, I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace out, people.